What if I told you, you can now build a full app without touching your laptop? Not later, not when you get home, right now, only using your smartphone. And that is exactly what I'm going to show you in today's video. As you might already know, inspirations never come on a schedule and they usually come when you don't have your laptop around. And that is exactly why Uware just went ahead and launched their mobile app. So you can just basically pull up your phone, open the Uware app and start prompting and you can build apps right from your smartphone. And the even cool and the interesting part here is that you can start working or let's say start creating an app from your smartphone and when you get home you can continue working on the exact same app right from your laptop or even if you started working on an app from your laptop you can also continue working on the same from your iPhone or let's say whatever device that you have. So basically there is this two-way sync allowing you to work on the exact same project both from the laptop and the smartphone and today in this video I'll show you all about the new Uware app and how you can build something cool right from your smartphone. So here I have opened up the app store on my iPhone and I searched for the keyword that is Uware and as you can see this right here is the app that we are talking about. It's called Uware the wipe coding app and again if you do want to directly download the app all you have to do is to click the link in the description below or just open the app store and search for Uware. and as you can see here i have already downloaded the same so i'll quickly go ahead and open it up and now once you open the app first of all you'll be prompted to log in just go ahead and sign in using your account or create a new account and once you're logged in this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see and as you can see in the recent section i can find all the apps that i've been uh, trying to build on Uware, and i can also find a new project button and if i click on this explore button right here I'll be able to find a bunch of different apps that other people have created using Uware. So for example, let's say, okay, let's open it up. It's called food price map. Okay, a map interface. I can move around. Okay, so this right here is basically an app some other person has created. And if I want to, I can view it, I can remix it. And if I want to, I can simply explore it. And towards the right side, here we have the profile and I can find all the apps that I have created and basically all my profile. Since we are interested in creating a new app right from the smartphone, what I'll do is I'll click on this particular option that says new project. Okay. And there you go. It opens up an input box and it is asking me to describe what you want to build. And the thing here is that you can either go ahead and type exactly what you want to build, or you can also go ahead and click on that mic button and speak your app idea and everything will be transcribed and pasted in here. So in this case, I'm planning to build, let's say a journaling app, right? So I can go ahead and click on this mic icon and I'll just explain my prompt. Build a journaling app where I'm given the option to enter a journal for each day. And I also should have a calendar interface allowing me to view the journals that I created for each specific day. Okay, I can stop it and there you go. I just went ahead and spoke exactly what I want to build and everything is filled in here. And towards the top, you can find an option that says auto. And if you click on the same, you'll be able to select the model that you want to use to build the app. So in this case, it is selected as auto, but I want to use Cloud 4.5 Sonnet for this one. So I'll select the same. And if you click on this option right here, you'll be able to enable or disable all the tools. So right now we have AI API, Uware backend, Figma and all of that enabled. So I don't want Figma, but again, if you want to, you can actually turn a Figma file into code using Uware. So in this case, I want Uware backend for incorporating let's say authentication and database so i'll keep that enabled and later if we want to incorporate any ai features directly into our app without relying or let's say getting any third party api keys i'll also enable this ai api option so that looks good and if you have any files to attach you can click on this paper clip icon but for the time being i'm good and now all i have to do is to click on this send button right here so there you go it says stay here while we start your task you can leave once it's sent all right so let's wait there you go it says no need to wait around your project keeps running we will notify you when it's ready and i'll click on allow so basically the idea is that after you give the initial prompt you can even close the uware app and get going and your app will be built in the background and once it's ready you will get a notification or you can come back and open the app anytime later and you will be able to find the app so basically the idea is that uware will build the app in the background so you don't really have to keep the uware app opened up every time in which ways it says okay i'm processing your request to design a journaling app with daily entries and a calendar interface and also it says since this requires data persistence i recommending enabling uware backend for storing journal entries with user authentication so here you can find all the options and it says would you like to enable uware backend for full functionality or proceed with the local storage approach so i can simply go ahead and say you can 
implement you were backend okay and now i'll click on the send button and one good thing i like a lot about you is the fact that you can directly incorporate full-fledged user authentication and database in just a single click all thanks to you backend so normally if you're about to let's say incorporate all these backend features you'll have to rely on superbase or let's say some other external tools and then you'll have to leave out of you create a project then link it back and it's such a tedious process but if you're about to use you you can simply ask the ai to incorporate all these backend functionalities and it will use you backend to do just that and that's one good thing and in which ways as you can see the ai is working on our project and it will take some time so i'll wait till it is done and i'll see you afterwards so there you go it says your journaling app is ready and i have implemented a complete mobile first journaling application with an interactive calendar journal editor and persistent storage and all journals are stored in cloudflare d1 database automatic user identification mobile optimization okay and now i can close this one from here and there you go this right here is the app that we just built and i can find the calendar interface i can move around and i can select a date so today is 17th so i'll select the same and if i scroll down i have the option to enter what's on your mind today okay so let me just quickly go ahead and fill in some dummy content so i just went ahead and wrote something and now if i click on the save button it says saving there you go the save is now saved and maybe let's say i want to add something for the 5th of november so let's say happy birthday and i can save that as well right okay and now if i move to 17th as you can see i can find my journal in here and if i go to the fifth date i can find that in here and again for every dates for which we have journal i can find a small dot indicating the same all right so the basic functionality that we asked for is in there and next up let's just say i want to implement a new page that is a profile page and in that particular page i should be able to give my personal details like the name uh, let's say and also attach a profile picture all right now i can click on this make changes button right here and i'll simply say so there you go it says i want to add a new profile page to the app where the user can enter their name and also upload a profile picture and now i'll click on the send button and ur has already started working on the same so there you go it says understood i'm now processing your request to add a new profile page with the name input and a picture upload functionality so it will take some time so let's wait for it all right so there you go the profile page is now implemented and okay i can find the profile page features so image storage so all the profile pictures that we upload is actually stored into cloudflare r2 we have the navigation and also backend integration is now complete so i can close this one okay so towards the top right i can now find a profile icon and if i click on the same it opens up this particular page and i can enter my name in here that is astro i can save profile okay profile saved successfully and if i go back and open profile again i can find that next up let's just try to upload a photo and i'll take a photo right away so i'll click on take photo allow uh allow paste maybe switch it to front camera i'll capture a photo i'll use this photo and let's see it says uploading image by the way okay and now i can click on save profile okay and now if i head back i can find the profile picture and that feature is also implemented and now in a similar fashion you can go ahead and keep adding new features into your app and let's assume that you have all the features that you want within the app live next up to publish it all you have to do is to click on this button that says publish towards the top right and yes you can even publish the app directly from your phone itself so i'll click on this publish button and it says publishing so there you go it is now successful and now in the beginning of the video i mentioned that you can start working on a project from your phone and access the same on the laptop and continue working it from the laptop and vice versa right next step what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and open the uware website and log into the exact same account and if i go to the my project section right here there you go i can now find the newly created app that is the mobile app so I'll click on the same and i can maybe click on edit i'll click on edit original wait for it to load and there you go here we have the app so i can find the calendar interface and i can find all the data that i entered from my phone so data persistence is there 
and we added like the profile functionality so i can click on this profile picture icon there you go here we have the name the profile picture and pretty much everything works and now the cool thing about using the uware mobile app is that now you can start building apps on the go so you don't necessarily need your laptop anymore you can just open the uware app give a prompt ask the ai to build something and you can go ahead and give follow prompts to update the app add new features and take it up like that and this is how simple it is to create a mobile app or a web app right from your smartphone and if you do want to create apps like these from your smartphone all you have to do is to click the link in the description below and download the uware mobile app or you can also straight up head to uware.com and start using their web version as well i know that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in today's video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one